What is going on guys, Pompey here, bringing you guys a live gameplay commentary, and uh, we're going to play War. Somebody told me that the reason I wasn't having the best time in my life is because I wasn't have playing War. So, here we are, playing War. Now, I don't really know what it is, but I know that it said that the time limit and the score limit was unlimited, which makes me think that this goes forever, but I highly doubt that's the case. So, I think there was actually a War game mode back in World at War 2, but already off the bat, this does not look like what it was uh, then. So I don't really know exactly what this is, um, or the actual objective, because this game was already going whenever I got in here. But we're going to use this uh, semi-automatic sniper rifle, the Carabin, because I also read just recently that it is better suited for the, the uh, quick zooming for some reason. Now, I don't understand why because it is a two-shot kill, like all, it's like the SVU in Black Ops 2, it's like a two-shot kill at all times is what I thought, but we will, um, we'll see how, the, how it goes, I don't know where I'm getting shot from either, we'll see how it goes, and if it gets, if we go too long and uh, we're not doing very well, we'll go ahead and switch, okay, so it looks like what I'm putting together in my mind here is that this game mode is like Conquest on the battlefield, and what I mean by that is, is that if we they capture this, we get pushed back, or something of the of similar nature. Like we we move objectives in some way, shape, or form. Oh God! Okay, let's not go that way. Don't ever go that way in war. You can't. It's 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 not allowed. Come on, come around the corner. Okay. Oh, all right. So yeah, we're gonna actually switch guns, and I want to use the Type 100. I haven't used it yet, so we're gonna go ahead and whip it out. Throw the suppressor on there, of course, of course. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like this is at a 50%. Okay. So. Oh, shit. Defending. Oh, my. Defending the objective. It, so, yeah, okay. So, yeah, it looks like it's like a conquest type deal. Um, except it might take, like, permanent damage and what I mean by that is if they get in there and they hold it until it gets to 50% for example like it's at it'll stay at 50% the whole time so it makes it easier for them um, to come back and take it so that's interesting okay now it's at 53% so I actually don't know or does it rise instead of fall maybe it starts at zero and it goes up higher the longer they hold it, I don't know. Um, like I said, I don't know what's going on in this game mode. All I know is that somebody said this was the most fun one that they have on here so far, so I decided to play it and see where it went. If you guys didn't watch the live stream yesterday, I have it up as a video you can go view, go check it out. Um, and it says in the title to skip ahead by about five, six minutes, because a lot of it is just me getting the stream set up. Um, at least a lot of the first few minutes is me in the stream setup, so skip that, it's boring, there's like no voice, there's nothing except typing, all you hear is keyboard clicking, so if for some reason you're into that kind of thing, I guess you can watch it and get your own personal pleasure out of it, um, but if you're like the normal population and you think that's just stupid, uh, skip ahead by about 5-6 minutes, um, and you should be all set to, uh, to watch actual gameplay of me playing the first game it goes really well um, and then I start to kind of suck but it's a good time I had I had fun uh, experiencing the game for the first time and hopefully you guys enjoy watching me uh, figure out that I suck with the sniper rifles in the game and watch me get shit on or shit on <clears throat> and uh, there will be a video up on patreon today that is not this it'll be a patreon exclusive video so if you have been considering donating uh, this and you're looking for maybe a sign this is it go up on there and uh, get that two dollar uh, subscription and you will get um, a video and I'm also gonna s shortly put some Pompeii Studios lanyards into uh, production so if that's something that you're interested in the two dollar package will be receiving a complimentary Pompeii Studios keychain lanyard thing but um, I actually want a few donors first, so yeah, I know that there are actually people who get them. So uh, anyone that is on there, you will be put on kind of like a wait list to get it, but you will end up getting one. 
uh, at some point. So I hope that wasn't the end of that game. If it is, we'll definitely play another one because it was really short, only about five minutes. Okay, it was. So we'll be right back, and we'll come back in whenever the game starts. I'll see you all in a minute. Alright, what's going on guys and gals? We are back and we're going to be rolling with the M1 Garand. Haven't used it yet. The last time I used a gun like this was in um, Medal of Honor Rising Sun. So, we're going to play it. We're going to use it. This is the exact same map. Maybe it's the same map every time. I don't really know. But I hope they take our objective this time so I can see what happens. And I'm going to bayonet charge somebody. You guys missed an epic bayonet charge yesterday on the live stream. So, you're obviously going to have to go back. And you're going to have to check that out because it was pretty epic and legendary. Uh, see, I don't know these maps. And that really puts a damper. Thanks. Number one being, I don't really know where to go to get some cheap kills at the beginning of a game. Holy shit. Alright, and now I know I was just looking over there, so I don't really understand how to fudge nuggets. I gotta stop freaking cussing in my videos. YouTube's gonna end up coming back and get exacting their wrath on me. Okay, yeah, so it does start at zero, and it goes up. Okay, this is a semi-auto. I should have known that from the beginning. Um, anyways, YouTube's gonna come and exact their wrath on me. Only eight bullets. I think I read in the description of this gun that it was high damage. So hopefully these eight bullets are, you know, get out of the way, I'm gonna blow myself up in a second. Are, uh, good. We're gonna bayonet somebody. We're gonna bayonet this guy! Uh. Oh no. We're gonna bayonet this guy! Bayonetting these people is so fun. It's probably my favorite thing of having an assault rifle in this game. Oh no! Oh man, we better hit a kill streak. I should probably reload. That would be very intelligent of me. Oh man, someone's gonna come around this corner, I'm gonna bayonet them. Come on. That's okay, I didn't get to bayonet him, but I still got the kill. There's somebody right here that I'm gonna bayonet, though. Oh, man. I keep forgetting to reload this gun, like... Oh. I don't know how I didn't get a kill streak. I got a fair amount of kills that game. What is that guy doing? He's, like, building up a defense or something. <laughs> That's kinda cool. There's so much about this game that I honestly don't know that whenever I see some people doing certain things, I'm completely lost. And that's just because I haven't really played it. So, if you're using the M1 Garand, heed this warning. Unless, for some reason, you really know what you're doing, put on a faster reload perk or break yourself down and get the extended magazine because the eight bullets don't get me wrong it's understandable because the gun does have high damage 
but naturally eight bullets is just so small like that's a sniper rifle clip and whenever you're using it as an assault weapon it's really um, you're just not used to it I guess you could say like the sniper rifle in this game the Commonwealth holds 10 rounds it holds more than this assault rifle does so you know I would expect to be reloading a sniper more than I do an assault rifle but I'm not because this is such a short clip so it does do a lot of damage yes however it is you just constantly are reloading like every after every kill you get you have to reload and it really wouldn't be that bad I guess if it if the reload was quick and fortunately it's not very fast um, it's it takes I'm gonna go ahead and give that about maybe two or three seconds uh, two or three second reload and as you guys know in Call of Duty two or three seconds that's the matter of that's the, that uh, makes a difference um, a big difference the entire game could change completely in a matter of two or three seconds so just keep that in mind when using the M1 Grand you have to be very conscious about reloading uh, after you get a kill so I am having a good time in war it's really small it's really uh, mmm at least this map is really small it's really uh, uh I don't really know exactly the word I'm trying to use here intense maybe I don't know I think we switched sides though which is cool because I've been wanting to be on this side but I'm gonna pull out this uh, semi-auto sniper again and try and pick off a couple headshots maybe like four in a row right off the right off the get-go and um, get into phase and all that stuff and you guys will have seen it right here on the on the commentary but anyways so we're gonna run up here again I don't know a whole lot about the map but I feel like this is a, okay all right you guys I was gonna be nice to you guys and just snipe but you know what this guy right here he did it oh you can put three attachments on some of these guns okay cool I need to learn how to do that maybe it's probably a perk because I do really want to do that um, for hold on for uh, oh, what is the gun I don't know what gun it is but there's some gun on here and I have three attachments and I want to put them all on just because I'm like that okay so I already know that holding the position is probably much better than being down here at, in the capture spot uh, for the simple fact that um, there's quite a few defenses up there hopefully that grenade blows that wall open that's what I'm trying to do <clears throat> Excuse me. I do like that the suppressor is equipable on any gun, at least any submachine gun, without having it as an attachment. That is nice. I do enjoy that greatly. Okay, there's a guy right here. Alright, now we need to be careful over here. I'm going to be that guy and wait right here by this door. I don't know what that is, but I don't really... I want to get out of here, though. Advance to the bridge. Alright, we took this. So now... Okay, so yeah, we do push back. Um, so, like, if we take an objective, we push back. We push them back into a different one. So, yeah, it is like Conquest. To be honest, I think War and World at War 2... I mean, World at War 1 was actually very similar to that. So, it's a similar concept if uh, you've played War on World at... War one. God dang, so many wars I'm saying it's tripping me up. Uh are there not kill streaks in this game mode? Because I don't understand how I haven't gotten um well, we gotta build this bridge. Is that what we're doing? I don't really know how to do it though. I'm crossing. I'm going crazy. That was a stupid idea, but it's okay. Actually, I think I might pull my sniper out and snipe them from across the bridge. That would be kind of smart, in my opinion. I'm going to toss a grenade over there, though. Okay, so you got to press and hold. So you got to... Okay, if I can get it. Here we go. Well, your teammates should... Make sure if you're a teammate on this thing, you're watching your homies' backs while they're building the bridge because they're really putting themselves out there. Uh... Headshots. Not a problem with this. 
See, like that, like, I don't understand why somebody wrote this is good for sniping because I cannot. Oh, good little goodness gracious. Because if you're not hitting headshots, it's pretty much over. Um, I think I just saw. Oh, where? Oh, okay. You know what? I wonder if I can snipe from right up here in this window. Ah, they put some trees in the way. They're pretty. They knew somebody was going to try and do this, but there is also a window over here. Maybe. Uh. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to go up there. I don't really care if I die. I'm going to switch classes, though. We'll get out the, uh, the airborne class. Alright, so the bridge is pretty much built, so I'm going to go ahead and get across it. Alright, that's fine. I don't really care that I died. I was kind of tired of using that sniper anyway. So now we gotta go plant a bomb, I guess. Oh, there's a tank. I highly doubt it does anything, though. Wait, what? Okay, it said press square to do something. I thought it was telling me I could enter the tank. That would've been dope. Alright. Gotta plant the bomb way back here. <laughs> I'm surprised we've even gotten back here this far without getting without taking serious fire yet. I don't know where the enemies are though. Oh, there's some. Whatever, man. Is that a flamethrower? Can you just run around with a flamethrower? Or is that like a kill streak? Actually, I don't think it's a kill streak because I didn't see it in the menu when I checked all the kill streaks. I think it's my grenade. All right, I'm going out there. I'm putting myself on the line just for you guys. Man. I meant to yesterday, I mentioned it in my live stream, I meant to check on the like suppressors in this game to see if they reduce the like if if they reduce the damage by how much because I feel like the uh there's a very large difference in the time it takes to kill somebody with and without the suppressor. Maybe it's just me. I don't know, you guys let me know if you see like that. Like I don't know how many times those those little hit markers I got on that guy. I even shot him first, I think. But, oh well, if you guys notice a humongous difference as well, please let me know. Um, because I want to know that I'm not crazy. Uh, what is going on? Some kind of strike run. Oh goodness, this is not a good spot for me to be in right now. Return to combat, okay. Oh, they got a care package. Okay, good. Here comes our tank, so I should be able to cross now. Oh, goodness lordy. Oh, he had a shotgun. So there was really no chance of me winning that one. Okay, so yeah, I really am enjoying War. I'm probably going to play this for the remainder. At least, maybe most of the remainder of the beta. I do really wish there were zombies, though. That would be awesome. Uh, one thing for some of you guys to note, that if you didn't get to play this beta, don't, don't worry. Uh, they're coming out with another private beta, September... I think it's the 5th through the 8th, is what I want to say. You might have to fact check me on that, but I am almost positive it's the 5th or the 8th. So if you didn't get to play this one, don't worry. There will be another chance to do it. Um, and obviously those of you who are playing it right now, get excited because you're going to get another chance to, uh, to do it. Um, in like a week. So... If you didn't get to play to your heart's content for some reason, you're going to get your chance. Do not worry. Alright, so let's say we won the game. And if we didn't, we're going to end it there. I need to go to the gymnasium after this. <clears throat> so yeah, War is definitely fun. Um, if you guys haven't played it, you should definitely give it a shot. Me personally, I was not going to play it. Um, because... I don't remember exactly why, but I read something on Twitter, somebody was talking shit about it, and I was like, okay, that's definitely something I'm not going to play, but I'm glad I gave it a chance, and um, I'm glad the person that told me I'm not having the best time because I'm not playing War, I'm glad I listened to them. So yeah, that was War, you guys, on World at War 2. Oh, I can do the different stuff? I'm saluting. Good job. Hey, oh, okay, it's over. Alright, boys and girls, I'll catch you guys in the next video, which will be tonight, um... 
those of you that are on the Patreon, definitely get on there because there will be a video tonight. I want to unlock this damn pistol. There will be a uh, video on there tonight, and there will probably be another video out here on YouTube. So if don't worry, if um, why well, can't I put this on? Oh, because I have this one. There we go. There will be another video out tonight, so don't worry. Uh, but the uh, Patreon one will be a little longer, more than likely. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day.